What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you an updated method on how to bypass Apple's iCloud activation lock. Now, in my previous video, I did show you a slightly different method, which Apple has now patched in this latest iOS 8.4 firmware. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the updated method, show you how to get your device up and running on iOS 8.4 or even iOS 8.4.1, even if it's activation locked. So what I'm trying to achieve with this video, what I'm trying to do for you guys, is to be able to give you guys some sort of functionality with your iCloud lock device. I know a lot of people go on eBay, are on Craigslist, they buy phones, and only to find or discover later that they're locked with this iCloud activation lock screen. Sometimes you can get the phone even working, but it's signed into someone's iCloud, you go to update it or restore it, and this is what you're greeted with. Unfortunately, your device is near worthless. I mean, pretty much worth its price in parts only, but with this video, I'm gonna give you guys a way to go ahead and get some functionality out of your device. Use it as an iPod at least. I mean, you'll be able to watch Netflix, YouTube, browse the internet, pretty much do a lot of what you could do, access the flash and camera, just uh, give you some sort of functionality out of your completely bricked device. And I know it's frustrating, but there is no way to completely remove iCloud. This is the best that it's ever going to get. And I'm going to go ahead and show you an updated version. So over here, I've got a device running 8.4.1, and I will be able to show you guys later on that they are indeed running 8.4 and 8.4.1. So uh, let's go ahead and show you guys how to get some functionality out of your iCloud lock device. And it's a very, very simple. So first off, very first thing I'm gonna show you guys is uh, how to go ahead and run this if you guys are already set up with internet. So it's really simple. All you guys have to do is uh, go to Wi-Fi settings. So if you already have Wi-Fi inside, go into your network and forget the network. So you wanna completely forget it and then go and uh, select start over. So you want it to be completely fresh. All right, so go ahead and select uh, your uh, English or whatever language you have. Go over here and you wanna go ahead and input this server. It's important to do this before going into the passcode. Don't type in the passcode, go over here and select DNS. So go ahead and put in one of these DNSs depending on where you're at. I mean, these are updated once in a while. Sometimes they may not work. I'll have the newest one down below in the description. So uh, this is the one that works for me. So 78.109.17. Dot six zero. And like I said, sometimes these are updated. I mean, if one doesn't work for you, try another one, but it really depends on where you're at. Anyways, so with that entered, go ahead and select back. And now go ahead and input the passcode. Let me go ahead and put mine in. All right, so uh, with that entered, go ahead and select join. So don't do anything from this page. You should see a pop-up. It should come up right there. It's called Captive Portals. So this is a feature that's built in to iOS 8.4, and it's kind of a little workaround because Apple did patch uh, the last bypass, and it still works. It's almost entirely the same. There's a couple deviations from the last bypass, but otherwise, it is the exact same one. So right here are the servers for other locations. I did have them listed, but anyways, let's go into Menu. And in here, this is pretty much everything that you guys can do. So up here, you have a user's chat. So everyone that's iCloud locked, you can get in here and uh, chat about what's going on. Maybe learn some new news, some new glitches, some new bypasses, I don't know. It's kind of interesting to see everyone's frustration here, but you can learn a bit of there. Anyways, so let's go back into the menu. I just wanna show you some other things that are possible with this. So in here, you can go ahead and enter the flashlight. So you can't actually open up the camera it no longer works using this, but you can activate the flash with video. So you can get the flash working with this guy if it's in video, uh, really cool. Anyways, so if we go back to the menu, I'll be able to show you some more things in here. There's a lot of uh, social media, so you can go ahead and access all of these from here which is pretty cool. I mean, it's nice that this brings back some functionality to your device. Uh, it's not the same, of course, to having a fully unlocked device, but you know, when you've been burned, this feels good at least. I mean, having the access to do something. And here you can do maps, and uh, of course, you guys do need a SIM card for this to work. If you don't have a SIM card, you can't get to this page, so you must have a SIM card belonging to appropriate carrier that your device is from. Also, in here, this is pretty much the biggest thing. There's videos, so you can go ahead and stream Netflix, uh, YouTube, and pretty much do some things that you weren't able to previously. Also, uh, if I can go back here, here are some games. So there are some applications and games you can run directly inside of your device, which I thought was pretty cool. So, uh, you know, waste some time doing this. So here's Flappy Bird, uh, works really well. It's like the full application in the browser. Um, anyways, so that's really cool, guys. So let me tell you about one thing. If you guys dismiss it, you have to repeat these steps right here. So if you dismiss that, unfortunately, this new bypass is a little bit more work in order to get the same result, but you guys need to go into the network, forget the network, 
and then go ahead and start over. If you don't start over, it won't work. So just go back in here and I have to go back in here, type in the DNS once again. Uh, if this is in here, you have to delete it and retype. For some reason it doesn't stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in, put my password in. And that's how you have to do it every single time you get out of it in order to get back into the bypass. I know it's a little complicated, but that's the only way it works right now. So also another thing to know is if you press the power button, when you go back into your device, it will no longer be here. So you will have to repeat the steps again. So pretty much every single time you do this, that's what you have to do, but it is worth it. Like I said, it does bring functionality back to you. So in the end, it is worth it. I wanna go ahead and show you that I am running iOS 8.4 and I'm gonna go ahead and load it up on my 8.4.1 device and show you that it does work as well. But as you can see, I'm on 8.4 right there and it does work. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and load it up over here and I'll show you 8.4.1 does work as well. All right, so here I have it up and running on my 8.4.1 device. I'm gonna go ahead and show you it is indeed running that firmware. And I have heard this does work on the latest iOS 9 beta, but it may not work on the final build. But as you can see, 8.4.1 right there. And as you know, 8.4.1 is gonna be the firmware that's gonna block the latest jailbreak. So it's good to know it still works on it. Now, like I said, iOS 9, it's not guaranteed that it'll work on the final build, but hopefully it will. I'll make a video on that. And uh, man, I gotta go through it again, get it working. Anyways, so there you guys go. So guys, that's just about it. And I wanted to mention a couple other things in here. This is actually incredibly useful. If you actually do take the time to go through everything, you'll notice that there is a lot of useful stuff in here. I mean, especially if you like to stream music, this is the perfect device just to play some music, you know, watch some videos, especially uh, if you can't access it any other way. But anyways, so uh, it does help but this isn't a full bypass. Will there ever be a full bypass? And the answer to that is most likely no, because iCloud lock is a server side problem. You can't jailbreak a device and fix it on the device if it's just never gonna work on the server side. So uh, I would give up hope on that, guys. And just so you guys know, it's probably not a good idea to sell these phones because uh, you could get in trouble because most of them are stolen that are purchased on eBay. So hopefully with this video, I could bring a little bit more functionality to your devices. Even though they are iCloud locked, you can use them somewhat now and hopefully this method isn't patched completely in the future. It's good that there is a captive portal bypass for now, but who knows how long this will work. But as far as I know, 8.4 and 8.4.1 right now are golden. So I just wanted to let you guys know that this is available. There is a new method. Unfortunately, there will probably be no full bypass ever. So this is as good as it will get. And the interesting thing is activation iCloud lock doesn't deter theft as greatly as one would think. It does, but these phones can still be sold for parts. I mean, for the screen, for the casings, they still have a market for them out there. And that's the most surprising part is you would think that these phones are near worthless, but they do still have a little bit of worth to them, which I thought was really interesting. Anyways, guys, enjoy this bypass. Uh, if there is ever a new method or a full bypass, which most likely there won't be, I will make sure to post a video informing you guys of everything. I haven't forgot about all my iCloud locked people. Anyways, have a great day, guys. Enjoy this activation lock bypass for what it is right now. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Peace.